you probably won't remember getting your first vaccination, but I bet your immune system does. A vaccine works by introducing a mild or dead version of a pathogen into your body so that your immune system learns to recognize and remember it without you having to get sick. It's kind of like a training simulation for your body so that when the real thing comes around, you're ready to fight it off. In Australia, most of us are vaccinated for all kinds of things when we're younger. And that means that for the rest of our lives, our immune systems will remember and protect us from a whole bunch of diseases that most of us have probably forgotten even exist. But what's strange is we don't actually understand how vaccines create these memories. And this is important because for some diseases, this memory isn't perfect. Malaria is a good example of this. Malaria is one of the deadliest diseases in human history, and it's caused by a microscopic parasite transmitted by the mosquito. By the end of this year, 200 million people will become sick because of this parasite, and it will kill a further half a million, mainly young children. For those who survive, it's not going to be something they're going to forget anytime soon. But their immune system will. For reasons we don't quite understand, if you become infected with the malaria parasite, but get better, you can become infected again, and again, and again. This failure to generate memory means that even our best malaria vaccines can't provide long-term immune protection. I want to take a step back and examine how these immune memories are created in the first place. Broadly, the immune cells that I study will be divided into two main groups after a vaccination or infection. The first group is good at fighting off the disease and making you healthy again, while the second group is responsible for your long-term memory. I found that malaria vaccinations are really good at making this fighting group, but they don't make many of these memory cells. To understand why this is the case, I've developed a sequencing technique that allows me to look at individual cells that respond to malaria vaccination and look at the genes that they express. I want to know what genes are important in controlling the decision to become a fighting cell or a memory cell. By understanding how these fundamental decisions of the immune system are made, we can design more memorable vaccines that can train our immune system to remember diseases that we can all someday forget about. Thank you.